This is the new Callaway Chrome Soft and Chrome Soft X. This is the third edition of Callaway's most premium golf ball. And I'm gonna test it and put it through its paces because Callaway claimed to have stumbled across something that is gonna be quite groundbreaking. And I wanna figure out whether this is a crazy innovation or whether it is simply a gimmick. So I've tested these golf balls on the golf course, chipped, putted with them, even pitched with them, and I've come back into the golf academy, hit 100 yard shots, seven iron shots, and driver shots. Not only that, I've put it through their durability test, and I'm gonna chop these in half and see actually what's inside the new balls. Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy. If you do enjoy this video, smash that like button and also share it around to your friends. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts of the video. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button. It keeps you connected to all of my videos. And even better still, if you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified every time I release a new vid. So the big talking point in the new Callaway Chrome Soft and Chrome Soft X golf ball is that they've infused a material that was only recently discovered in Manchester, my hometown. Two scientists at the University of Manchester found a way of being able to access graphene. And graphene, from what they've now discovered, is the strongest material on earth. It's 200 times stronger than steel and Callaway have decided to bring it into their new golf ball. Now, when I first heard that, I was like, okay, how? What they've said is that they've managed to use it in the inner layer, so just inside the cover, to make the inner core bigger, bigger than the previous model, 80% bigger. And that has its advantages of gaining more uh, ball speed, more spin characteristics, and making it a better ball. This is what Callaway are claiming. Now I've done some research, and in each golf ball, in every single individual one, the buildup and the components, it's only 0.4% of graphene is included in each golf ball. I mean, that is a tiny, tiny amount. It really is. How much of a difference can it actually make as I started this video, is it innovation or is it simply a gimmick that Callaway have cottoned on to that graphene is the hot property? That's what I wanted to find out. So like previous generations of the Callaway Chrome Soft and actually Callaway golf balls for, I wouldn't even like to guess, maybe 10 years or so, they have the hexagon dimples, which is helping them create more of a dimpling effect across the ball, where you see most golf balls actually have a circular dimple. Callaway have stuck with this hexagon dimple design in the new ball as well. So I've tested golf, both golf balls. Just to give you some idea, these are Callaway's premium golf balls. They come in at retail at £38 per dozen or $45. So they're about £3, $3 golf balls. So they're pretty, pretty top end competing with your, your Pro V1s and your TP5, that sort of marketplace. And like those balls, I think Pro V1 was probably the first one, they've got the normal model and they've got the X model. X typically for a faster swing speed because the core reacts better to help the player with a faster swing speed hit it further. And the cover's the same to give that soft feel because at the end of the day, this is called Chrome Soft. So that's what I did. I wanted to find out, did it, does it still have the same soft characteristics? So I took it on the golf course. I went to May Golf and Country Club in Cheshire and I did some chips, I did some putts, I did some pitch shots. And my initial thoughts of the golf ball were that they were louder and clickier than previous models and definitely clickier than the Pro V1 and the TP5. The X, the Chrome Soft X, particularly louder in its sound, its audio when I chipped and putted with it. Now, spin characteristics into the greens, I had no issues with. When I was chipping and when I was pitching, I saw good results. I saw shots that I was expecting to see from a premium golf ball. So that didn't concern me at all. The thing that concerned me was just that sound. Now, I took them back into the studio, back here at Quest Golf Academy. I've hit shots with one individual ball. So I took one ball out of each pack and I tested them with 100 yard shots using a tailor-made sand wedge, so it's nice and fair. I've hit seven iron shots with a ping seven iron and I hit the driver shots with the Callaway Epic driver. 
Now, I've used those three clubs because I've used those clubs in previous ball tests in the past. And let's look at some of the data. Let's look at some of the figures with the Chrome Soft and the Chrome Soft X. So let's dive into the 100 yard shots with each ball. I hit five with each and chose the best three to keep human error out of this as much as possible to get the fairest of tests. And we see the data up on screen. The red data is the Chrome Soft Normal and the blue data is the Chrome Soft X. Now this was staggering to me because there was honestly next to no difference. Uh, if anything, I would say the Chrome Soft probably just peaked high a little bit higher, but the spin rates are so close to each other, it's untrue. And I mean, the 300 RPM of difference on the spin rate, I mean, that is tiny. It's worth considering, but I wouldn't say it's a big factor that separates these two golf balls. So they were the 100 yard shots. Let's move back to seven next. And what we see from the seven iron shots, again, similar story. Actually, another 300 RPM more spin with the Chrome Soft X. Barring that, there was no difference. Ball speed was the same, carry distance was the same. Again, I would say the flight of the Chrome Soft standard was just a touch higher, but nothing that separates the two golf balls in the seven iron category. Then I moved into driver, which normally I don't see a great deal in. And I want to see if there's a much of a difference between these two as well. And lo and behold, with the driver data, again, almost uh, unseparable, these two golf balls. There was no difference at all. Again, just because I'm swinging at about 110 miles per hour, I should sit in the category of the Chrome Soft X. And if anything, if I was really looking into it, the Chrome Soft X did give me a mile per hour more ball speed. It gave me similar spin characteristics for both golf balls with driver, just under that 2000 mark. And it's hard, again, it's difficult to see between the two, but the Chrome Soft X gave me an extra six yards because of probably that extra mile per hour club speed, a uh, ball speed, sorry. So not a lot of difference from GC Quad. So then I hit him a durability test. I hit 10 full sand wedges with both of the golf balls, still the same balls I did all the testing with. And if I'm honest, they've actually come off pretty well. They've not come off that damaged at all. A little bit of the cover slightly, you know, marked, but really very playable still. Um, little dints and scratches, but I mean, nothing, nothing that would at all worry me that the price of the ball that you're paying for this, three pound, three dollars, that this isn't a premium cover and isn't going to last. So, so far, very good, but I don't feel like graphene has given us any advantage yet. Let me explain that a little bit further. So graphene, the, the big talking point with these golf balls, the thing that really separates it from the last year's model and the fact they've managed to make the core bigger, which I'm going to find out in a minute when I chop these things in half, if I can, bearing in mind the, you know, they've got graphene in, I shouldn't be able to, the strongest material in the world, I'm going to see if I can chop them in half, is, am I seeing any difference? No, I'm really not. I'm really struggling to see any noticeable differences. And for me, these two golf balls performed so similar, it was unreal. And I mean, performance between the two golf balls was absolutely matched up there weren't, for me, there wasn't enough of a separation between the normal and the X. The only thing that separated it for me was the sound of the two golf balls. Now, I wouldn't say they sounded that soft, and I wouldn't say they felt ridiculously soft, but for me, the X was noticeably clickier. I tried to show this in a little uh, click up that I did with a wedge. I'm going to just be quiet for a minute. I'm just going to listen to the Chrome Soft click ups and then listen to the Chrome Soft X. So hopefully you can hear from that little clip, difficult to demonstrate it on video, the difference between the sounds, because sound wise, the X was noticeably clickier. And for me, off putting for how clicky it was. If you're looking at a premium ball and you compare it to, like I said at the start of this video, to your Pro V1s and your TP5s, they don't sound clicky, they sound, you know, they sound a bit soft. They sound like they're, they're a premium ball and they have that cover that just has that little bit of softness to it. Chrome Softs in the past, I've never described them as, as a clicky ball so much. I've always found them to be pretty, a pretty soft sounding and soft feeling. Now, does graphene make this sound clickier? Because in some of the, you know, the, the literature that I got sent from Callaway with this said, they've 
purposely made it clickier from feedback from golfers. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. I don't know if I've ever met a golfer who wants a ball that sounds clickier around the green. You might, you, I might be completely wrong with that. I might be absolutely way off the mark. I know for me, I would never use the Callaway Chrome Soft X for that reason alone. It would have to give me 10 to 15 extra yards of distance with my driver for me to quantify the sound when I chip and put with it. It sounds like um, an old top flight golf ball. It doesn't sound like a premium three pound, three dollar golf ball. The Chrome Soft standard, a little bit better, still not perfect, but definitely better sounding than the Chrome Soft X. Is that an accident that they're trying to cover up? Did they make it clicky and didn't realize and then saying, you know, oh yeah, golfers ask for this. I think that's a load of rubbish because I don't know a golfer that's ever asked for a clickier ball. Let's find out what's in these golf balls and see, if, first off, if I can cut them in half and actually therefore, do we actually see any graphene? Do we see that the core is actually bigger or is that also maybe a little bit of a gimmick? We'll see when I cut these things in half. So, don't try this at home, kids. I'm gonna see if the Chrome Soft with graphene is actually cuttable. Of course it is. Don't forget 0.4% of this golf ball is graphene, so it's such a tiny amount. Right, I'm gonna show you clips of what the old Chrome Soft looked like. And this is what now the new Chrome Soft looks like. So as we can see, we've got the four layers. We've got the outer core, the inner layer, which is where the graphene apparently sits. We've got that outer core and then the inner core, which is that is supposed to be bigger. And actually looking at the close-ups there, you can see it is actually bigger. I wouldn't say, unless I measured it, 80% bigger, but it's definitely bigger, the inner core. So that's the Chrome Soft normal. Let's move on to the X next. The Chrome Soft X, I'm expecting much difference from the, from the performance, probably not. I'm expecting these to almost look identical the same again. So I've got close-ups on screen of what the old one looked like, and then this is what the new one looks like. Uh, nowhere near as colourful as the last year's model. Um, and again, you can probably just about make out that the inner core is slightly bigger. By much, again, it's so hard to see, but it's that, it's that little layer there that just separates the cover to the actual outer core, which has actually got the graphene in. So it comes back to that first question I asked at the start of this video, innovation or gimmick? Well, obviously graphene, the material, I am not questioning one bit. Does graphene work? 0.4%, which is in this golf ball, which is, by the way, what I found out through the pattern of this golf ball. Is that making a difference? Uh, it, no, <laughs> it's just not. Is it still a good golf ball? Well, performance I had no issues with. I don't feel like it's the greatest. I feel like there's, for me, for the, that kind of price point, I think many golfers would probably go to the Pro V1 or the TP5 and maybe have to pay a little bit extra. But from the test I've done, they're a much better golf ball. For Callaway's most premium golf ball, their best ball, I'm disappointed. I'm not blown away. And for me, to say that the X, they've purposely made it clickier, I find that incredibly hard to believe. I'm going to read through the comments down below. Convince me if I'm wrong in that because I don't believe golfers want a clicky golf ball. I don't. I think that's a mistake and they're trying to cover it up by saying golfers have asked for it. And I don't think that is the truth. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, comment below, let us know what you think. That was my test, my thorough test of the new Callaway Chrome Soft and Chrome Soft X. They won't be going into my golf bag, unfortunately. Um, certainly not in half anyway. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, again, smash that like, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new to it. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss a single video. And also, share this video around. Pass it through WhatsApp, email, on Facebook, Twitter. Let your friends know about it. If your friend uses the Callaway ball or is thinking about it, let him know. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, lots more to come. And we'll see you next time.